you are going to be. Well, it's a record-setting holiday weekend for the Marvel superhero movie Black Panther, directed by Oakland's own Ryan Coogler. It's the most successful February movie opening ever, with $192 million in North American ticket sales. It's not just the movie. The music Black Panther, the album, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. Marvel is owned by Disney, which is also the parent company of ABC7. Former First Lady Michelle Obama tweeted congratulations to this morning to the entire Black Panther team. Her tweet reads, quote, because of you, young people will finally see superheroes that look like them on the big screen. I love this movie, and I know it will inspire people of all backgrounds to dig deep and find the courage to be heroes of their own stories. Now in the meantime, another movie is also making history, one released exactly one year ago. The Thank horror you. film Get Out has received four Oscar nominations, including Best Picture and nods for Best Actor, Director and Original Screenplay, all of them to African American nominees. Now some AMC theaters are offering a free showing of that film at 7 o'clock tonight. It's a powerful movie if you haven't seen it. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom explores what these two movies mean about changes afoot in Hollywood. It's a coveted ticket. What are you here to see? Black Panther. That's hard to find. When I tried to look for tickets, they were all sold out. It's got diehard comic fans. Got them a week beforehand. There you go. So. <laughs> you are dedicated. Yep. Damn right. But it has another appeal. Usually, African-American people are portrayed as addicts, um, criminals, and I want to see something where we're not portrayed as that. Don't freeze. I never freeze. Black Panther's big opening comes a year after another film that's having a free encore screening here. Do they know I'm black? Should I? Get Out just received four big Oscar nominations. Did you guys see Get Out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Saw it. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. The two Hollywood victories come just two years after an outcry over a lack of African American representation at the Oscars. Some call it a breakthrough, and what to make of it depends on who you ask. It comes at this point where we're just got really impatient. I waited my entire life for this. Cal State East Bay professor Lonnie Avi Brooks says the two films are more than entertainment. I think that The Black Panther and Get Out are both protest films, in my opinion. But they go about it in different ways. I think Get Out really speaks to police brutality. Can I see your license, please? He wasn't driving. I didn't ask who was driving. I asked to see his ID. How we have to carry ourselves when we're outside the home. There's too many white people are getting nervous. But Brooks says Black Panther goes a step further to imagine a future where racial dynamics are different. With a whole black cast, with white characters as minor notes, it's like, oh, wow. That's a universe I'm not used to seeing. Some say it's just Hollywood trying to make a buck. Public image. Well, how can we market? How can we get a bunch of sales going? But some say they've earned it. It's bringing in money and it's giving uh, the, the minority an opportunity to come up in the world. So I like that. In San Francisco, Jonathan Bloom. My son, it is your time. ABC 7 News.